What's up folks, in this video we will be talking about GitHub Composite Actions. With GitHub Composite Actions, you can create reusable steps on your workflow that you can share across your organizations or you can share them publicly. So let's get started. To get started, I'm going to create a project repository called Actions Demo. I'm going to go inside the repository and open it on my code editor. Here I have created a file called action.yml. You can create action.yml or action.yaml. This is going to be our workflow file where we are going to write our reusable steps. So to get started, we have this simple workflow where the name is greeter and the description is it's a composite action to greet someone. And we have this run step and this one is very important. We need to have the key value pair of using composite. So whenever you're creating a composite action, this step is absolutely necessary. Then we are going to write our reusable step. So it can be one step or multiple step. But to keep it easy, we just have one step in this example. Inside of the steps, we have given the name greet and it's going to run echo hello world. And it's absolutely important that whenever you're creating composite action, you need to have this shell command. So shell command basically describes where do you want to run your command in. So right now we have the option of bash, but as you can see, we have the option of PowerShell, Python, and many different shells where we can run the command inside of the run key. So you can write a Python script and describe the shell as just Python. So it will just run the Python script inside of the run. So once our composite action is ready, we are ready to push it to GitHub so that we can use it in other workflows. So let's get in it on this directory. Then we will add our file and then we are going to commit. Just saying initial commit. And then we are going to create a GitHub repository on the GitHub. For this, I'm going to use the GitHub CLI. If you don't have GitHub CLI, you can download it. For that, you can go to cli.github.com and download it for your platform. Or you can just go to github.com and create a new repository. I'm going to use the CLI because it's going to be much, much faster. So for that, I'm just going to write gh repo create. And I'm going to push an existing repository. Local. Name is going to be actions demo and it's going to be inside of my private and description is just going to be YouTube composite actions demo. And I'm just going to make it private for the time being. I'll add a remote, it's called origin and I'll like to push everything. Now I can go to github.com. So we have this GitHub repository with just one file called action.yml. So if you want to create your own GitHub actions that is public for everyone, you can just add action.yml so that needs to be on the root of your repository just to note that this is a private repository right now so if you want to share reusable steps across your organization then you can make it private and share it among your organization only but if you want to make it public so that everyone else can use your github action you can do it as well this one is for the private action so that it is accessible within my user profile i need to go to settings go to actions and then general and on the very end, we have this option of access where it says not accessible right now, but I'm going to make it accessible from repository owned by the user yourself. So I'm going to select that and save it. So once I have that, I'm going to go back to my code editor. I'm going to go a step back and I'm going to create a directory called action scholars. So this is going to be a different repository from which we are going to call our composite action. So let's go to action scholar. And I'm going to open this on a new code editor window. And for this repository, I'll have a dummy app.py file where I have just this function which adds two numbers. And then I'm going to create a new directory called GitHub followed by workflows, which will have a GitHub workflow that will call our composite action. So I'm going to create a new file here, which is going to be called ci.yml. And then we will have this workflow in this file. So so the name is going to be actions tester and we will trigger this action on every push to every branches and whenever there is a pull request against any branches. So we will define the job. The name of the job is going to be linter and it will run on the Ubuntu latest machine. And then we are going to check out our code so that whatever code is available in our repository is available to the CI runner as well. Then I'm going to use the name which is going to be greeter for this step and we need to use the uses key here. So this is going to use the composite action that we created earlier. So this will take the name of the organization or the user followed by the name of the repository and the name of the branch as well. So if we look into GitHub, you can see that my branch name is called main and the path to this repository is the username and the name of the repository. 
So instead of the branch name, you can also use the tag here as well. If you have created any tag and you can also use the commit hash as well. So like at the rate main, you can also use, go to commit and use this commit hash here as well. And if you have published any tag, you can use the tag as well, like 0 .0 0.0.1 perhaps. For the sake of easiness, we are just going to write main, which is going to be the branch which we are targeting. So once we have this, we are going to add all of this. I'm going to initialize the repository. Then I'm going to add everything and I'm going to say initial commit again. And again, I'm going to create a new repository. So gh repo create. And I would like to push an existing local repository on the current path. It's going to be called action caller. And then on my username, it's just going to be demo composite action scholar and it's going to be private again add the remote called origin and i'll push all of the changes to that repository so just to give an overview on where we are we have this actions demo repository where we are defining our composite action which is just a hello world composite action whenever we call it it's just going to print hello world on the ci so we have a different repository which is called action scholar which is going to call this composite action and we are going to get hello world on our ci so this runs and push on any branches and on any pull request so we are just going to push a new code chains let's go to our app.py file and let's add a type int where it's going to return an int so i'm going to add this file and I'm going to commit update type hint and then I'm going to push it. So if I go to my callers repository and go to actions, then I'm going to see that the action is being run right now. Here is the greatest step that we created. Let me refresh the page and if I see here, I will see hello world as an output. So this is pretty neat. So instead of hello world, you can create whatever you want that does some particular action and you're on your way to create your own custom GitHub actions. But having said that, let's take this a step further. I'm going to go to my composite action and here I'm going to add an input, which is going to take who to greet. So this is not a required, so required is false. Default is going to be world like here and the description is going to be who to greet, basically the name of the input. So after doing that, we are going to replace world with the variable which is going to be inputs dot name of the input which is going to be who to greet and we are going to add an exclamation here so with this update we are going to add this again and we are going to add a comment which is going to say added input and then we are going to push this so once we have pushed this, we can go to our action scholar and here we can say with and then the variable that we want to use. So I'm going to use who to greet and it's going to be everyone. So it's going to say hello everyone. So I'm going to add dot and I'm going to commit and where to actions demo and then I'm going to push it. And then I'm going to go to my GitHub repository, go to actions for action scholar, and then let's check it out. It should say hello everyone, whatever input we give to our composite action. So we have defined just a single input, but you can add as many inputs as you want, depending on what type of tasks you want to perform on this composite action. So let me make this full screen for now. Till this point, we just saw one composite action on this repository, but you can also have multiple composite actions inside of the same repository and call it based on the different paths it have. So let's do a little bit of refactor so that this single repository can hold multiple composite actions so that we are free to choose whichever action we want to use from here. For that, I'm going to create a new directory called actions and inside of actions, I'm going to create yet another directory, which is going to be called greeter. And I'm going to put my action.yml inside of the greeter. I'll just say move. So this is our action number one, which is greeter. And here I'm going to add another action, which is going to be called check breakpoint. 
and here as well i'm going to create a new file called action.yml and you can see a pattern here every time we define a reusable workflow we are naming the workflow file action.yml this is because whenever we want to run this action we can just write the path up to this directory we do not have to write the name of the file itself like action.yml if this file was named anything else if this was named let's say xyz.yml then whenever we want to invoke this action we will have to give a full path up to the name of the file that holds our composite action so it's basically going to be my username followed by slash actions demo slash actions followed by check breakpoint slash xyz.yml but having action.yml means that we can just go up to check breakpoint and it will automatically take the action.yml file so i'm going to delete this and inside of our check breakpoint action.yml i have this code the name is check for breakpoint and it's just composite action to check the breakpoints the name of the input is exclude and it is not required because we have a default value of env and virtual env and the description is list of directories to exclude separated by comma and again we have this runs block and the absolute important using composite and then we are going to define the steps we need to take again there is just a single step to make this easier to understand and the name is going to be check for breakpoints and we have this run key which uses this pipe symbol so that we can add multi-line cell script inside of the run key so here we are using the grip command line utility and we are checking all the directories recursively and we are going to get the line number with the minus n flag followed by minus w which will take the whole word that we are passing which is breakpoint we are excluding the env and venv directories and we can also take input where we can add more directories where we might want to exclude so we are excluding these directories and we are including all the .py file and then we are searching for the word breakpoint if you find the word breakpoint anywhere in our code it's going to say breakpoint found in the code and it's going to show the line number where the breakpoint is and it's going to exit with the exit code one basically the code failed so the pipeline is going to stop if it does not find anything then the exit code will be zero automatically and again the most important bit cell is going to be bash so since this is a bash script we are going to run it in the bash cell so once we have this refactor in place uh, as you can see we have a single repository which hosts multiple composite actions so i'm going to git add everything and i'm going to commit and i'm going to say combined actions and then i'm going to push it then i'm going to go to my actions caller repository and now if i want to use the greeter composite action i have to do a little bit of change so i need to go to actions demo followed by slash my greeter composite action now is inside of the actions directory so I'm, i'll go to actions followed by slash and greeter since greeter has the composite action file action.yml i don't have to mention the file name but if this was anything else i'll have to write the file name as well like xyz.yml but since it's action.yml i don't have to write anything so once i have this then my greeter function will work and just to test it out i'm also going to add a breakpoint in my code so i'm going to copy this block paste it and i'm going to write check breakpoint and this is going to be check breakpoint again name of the directory where our composite action exists to check the breakpoint and it takes the input of exclude but i'm happy with these exclude so i'm just going to remove the input section and i'm going to save this now i'm going to add everything again so git add git commit and it's going to be updated uh, workflow and i'm going to push it to the main branch and let's see so i'm going to go to action scholar updated workflow linter step should have named it something different but yeah you can rename it to something different from here jobs linter so it should be like action scholar or something yes the greeter we are still doing hello everyone so hello everyone is there but since we are checking breakpoints in our code and we did add a breakpoint on our app.py file it says breakpoints found in the code remove them to proceed so in app.py line number two we have breakpoint line number two breakpoint which is correct so as you can see from a single github repository we can define multiple github actions 
you can add more composite actions inside of here to do whatever you like so all the steps that are repeatable across different workflows you can put all of them inside of a combined repository with a composite action and you can reuse it all over the place and that's the power of composite actions thank you for watching this video i hope understanding composite actions in github workflows was very helpful if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see such content in the future subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one